Hey everybody, Robbie here from True Flame Tech. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to share this video with you on how to replace the X240 trackpad with one from the X250. Mm -hmm. I apologize this video is not terribly concise. I want to hit a lot of points, things you should know, mm -hmm. because some of you may be considering ordering the X240. Some of you already have, and I just want to cover a lot of information. Mm -hmm. There's a blog post that someone else made that is, I'm going to say better than this video, if you prefer um, the blog post for him at details. This guy did a fantastic job documenting the entire process mm -hmm. and it may be more valuable to you. If you prefer to listen to someone speak on YouTube, well, this video is for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go over some of that right now. Um, the <coughs> This mod, I'm going to start with what you should do um, and so what I did, I'm going to explain the process as I go along and try to get some detail in there from that blog post and from things that I just know from going through this myself. Um, if you want a TLDR, it's this. The X240 is a fantastic machine. Um, there is that downside of that trackpad though, and it's a really bad trackpad in the Reddit ThinkPad community called the Clunk Pad. Um, <coughs> In Windows, it's fine for the most part. The the newer drivers um, support you know the three finger up gesture for the expose in Windows, um, and the trackpad in general is isn't too terribly bad, unless you want to use the track point. Now the track point is fantastic. Highly recommend its usage, and it's not really a ThinkPad almost without it because um, the track point allows for sub pixel movement is literally more accurate than any mouse unless you're going for like a Cintiq um, or a Wacom you know attachment for moving and even then I think you can move it even better than you can move a pen um, the track point is fantastic that said if you're only using the trackpad on the X240 it's not terrible it is loud so you'll if you press it to click um, <coughs> It's gonna be loud. I mean, it's 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 irritatingly loud, especially on the my T440s that I had. Oh my, the whole 40 generation of the ThinkPads, um, and uh, the S1 Yoga had this trackpad. It's just really loud, and it makes the track point uh, difficult to use. Not impossible, but maybe impossible consistently <laughs> to 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 make it be used as a button. Now in Windows, at least you can change the driver to only use the track point and not use the trackpad at all in which case the entire trackpad becomes a button mm -hmm. um, and it's fine in Linux I don't know maybe <laughs> I, I didn't try it in Linux mm -hmm. um, I imagine it would be a lot more difficult to make it only uh, a button to use with the track point in Windows it's totally possible to use it only the whole thing as a button it's going to be pretty much impossible to use one-handed like some people are able to do with their finger and thumb um, but doable I suppose uh, so that these are all considerations you have to keep in mind now with Windows again like I said the trackpad isn't too bad with the latest drivers in Linux on the other hand it's pretty bad no matter what you're trying to do with the thing because when you depress the button the pad your fingers gonna move a little bit now the synaptics driver and Windows accounts for that but in Linux it doesn't so you're gonna click where you don't mean to click and you're like well that's not, that's not a big deal Robbie I'm just gonna use tap to click well sometimes the mechanism is so sensitive you literally can't tap to click your finger's gonna move on the trackpad a little bit. It's gonna register it as a, a depress of the touchpad. And it, it's just a pain in the butt. Now you can do certain things in Linux to make it less of a pain in the butt, but none of what I did really made me happy with it. Like, in Linux, it just wasn't a usable experience. And I, even though I mostly use Linux on my laptops, um, up until that point, uh, as you can see, I'm using Windows 10, my primary workstation, because I need to do things. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, if you understand that the X240 is an excellent value, mostly because 
of the trackpad issues and you're not a Linux user or you are willing to replace this trackpad yourself. Um, it is a fantastic machine. Now the next model up, model up doesn't have this problem and it's also a fantastic machine. However the next model up has a blacklist on the panels so you have to be careful which panel you're going to get <laughs> and so on and so forth or your brightness control won't work if you try to upgrade the panels. However the opposite uh, is true in that X250 case because um, Linux doesn't care what panel you use and the brightness control is going to work. But if you go to use Windows in a dual boot configuration, mm -hmm. you're going to run into brightness issues. So it's it's kind of frustrating, <laughs> to be honest. Mm -hmm. If I had to go back, I'm going to tell you, I would have looked for an X250 that came with an IPS screen. Now, if you already have an X24 and a don't feel too bad because this mod isn't that bad. However, as the blog post in the description is going to tell you, and I didn't know this, the X240, they're not all made the same. In the early production cycle, the palm rest was unique to the X240. Later in the production cycle, it was an X250 palm rest, so the trackpad felt fit better. Um, according to the blog post, some modification of that palm rest, the yeah, sanding or something, mm -hmm. of the original X240 palm rest will be necessary to fit the X250 um, trackpad in. I Mine apparently didn't need any of that. So, these are, these are just things you need to be aware of. Mm -hmm. Another thing you should be aware of uh, is the X240, I believe, is the only of the Federal 40 generation where this trackpad is glued in with double-sided tape, a la MacBook Air, um, where its components are glued in, double-sided taped in, whatever. Um, which makes this easy in a sense, but also you are, you're gonna break something. Okay. Now, the only thing you should be needing to break here if you're careful enough, and it's not too bad, I'm kind of overblowing this a little bit just so people know what's possible, know what their options are. I'm trying to, I know this is, this video is for replacing the tripod. I just want people to know who are going into the purchase, what's necessary. Um, give me an overall viewpoint, say, should I go for the X240 or the X250, which works for me. And I just want to reiterate, the X240 is an excellent machine. It is the most modern ThinkPad as of right now at the release of this video. Um, the most modern X series that is as light as it is. Um, as powerful as it is if you are considering that the uh, Intel graphics chipset is better and the battery life is is amazing it is literally incredible I have a used extended battery in mine with no internal battery I get six hours in Windows no problem I got about that in Linux as well when I was using Solus um, and it was just fantastic so the only thing you should need to break um, is this trackpad, but you will need to break it. You could use a uh, heating gun from the bottom of the machine, um, but honestly, if I was going to use a heating gun on this, I would disassemble the entire machine, bluntly, because I would be afraid that heating up that palm rest part from the bottom, you have to heat up the whole palm rest. <laughs> um, would damage something, you know, damage ribbon cables, so you would, it would require a whole uh, teardown. Alternatively, you can just do what I did and did do what the blogger did. I apologize for forgetting his name, but all due respect will be given in the uh, description. Do what I did, do what that blogger did instead. Just don't take apart the machine. Or, I should say, <laughs> what I should have done here. Don't take apart the machine. Just crack open the trackpad. Put a piece of uh, painter's tape right here. It's flathead screwdriver and nylon spudger will break. And just shove it right under there and crack it up. Don't just rip the trackpad up, but just crack it up. It will separate into two pieces. And just crack it up so it's at an angle. Use tweezers to release the ribbon cable, same as you would for any other thing. There's a little hitch there, you unhook, um, flip up the little hitch that's holding it in, remove the ribbon cable slowly, 
and then proceed to rip the rest of this trackpad off with whatever force you need to use. As long as you're aware of that ribbon cable. That ribbon cable will be the one you use unless you go for the straight up X250 palm rest on eBay and replace that whole palm rest assembly. Which is, is, is definitely the easiest way to go if you want to be certain of yourself. Um, I assume it's very time consuming however and I won't do it. I don't think I need to do it. <coughs> um, so once you crack that off the next part that needs to come off, as you can see to my left, I suppose, is this. Okay. That's the bottom half of this trackpad, uh, this X240 trackpad. That has to come off as well. It's going to take effort. It's going to sound really nasty when you're doing it. You're going to worry that you're breaking it. Just try to pry it up. It's double-sided tape along the edge. Um, just pry it up. Now, you can use the existing double-sided tape in there. Mine had enough adhesive to hold it in. Uh, it does move around a little bit, but honestly, it's not enough to bother me. And, you know, I really hate to, to say all this detail. I'm understanding. I understand that people will say, Robbie, you're overblowing this process. I did it. And it's not as bad as you make it sound. It's not that bad. But to people who may be doing this as their first laptop part replacement. I want them to be aware of what they're getting into so they aren't disappointed. Um, it is an excellent, fantastic machine. If you're willing to do these mods like I said, or you don't feel the need to do them at all, this laptop is impossibly cheap. It's like getting something better than a MacBook Pro for donuts. <laughs> you know, it's just like it makes no sense. I got this one fully spec'd out, uh, almost, um, for around 225 something around there. And they're going to be cheaper soon, undoubtedly, um, with the release of the new 8th um, generation Intel chips with 6 cores, basically standard, and the new Ryzen um, A-series ThinkPads, and uh, not to mention the new L. 3 series and the new X3 series that are like 13 inches and they're yogas. I mean, those are competitively priced as well, but nowhere close to this. And you can get these for just over $100 if you don't care about the specs or anything. You have your own RAM, you have your own SSD. Um, just amazing. The battery life is incredible. So, that's I'm going to show you more of what I did here. Sorry if that I'm just droning on. Um, 12 minutes just like my last attempt at <laughs> doing this video um, so yeah this is what it should look like after you pry up this part successfully just be careful of that little ribbon cable start reseating that X250 trackpad over the top use your little tweezers and just shove it in there it's going to take some time be careful not to pinch the ribbon cable too hard um, Otherwise, of course, you can, you may break it. So, but if you've dealt with ribbon cables, if you've dealt with computer hardware before, this shouldn't be too hard. Honestly, it's really not that difficult if you've dealt with laptops before. Um, it is more irritating than I wish a ThinkPad would be. Uh, as we all know, after the thir uh, 30 generation, everything got harder to repair great but this is not too bad especially when it comes to uh, comparing it to other laptops like Mac Pro um, repairs those are virtually impossible on the newer generations things are soldered um, keyboards riveted go watch uh, Lewis Rossman's channel on YouTube if you want to see even more how fun that is um, I won't even attempt to repair anything past 2015 with the MacBooks so good luck hope this video gives you all the information necessary to make a good decision on whether you should purchase an X240 um, or if you have an X240 it gives you all the information necessary to replace the trackpad with the much superior <laughs> one on the X250 um, again I just want to end in saying this is a fantastic machine it's not that bad um, and I, I strongly recommend that you get it if you are on a tight budget and you need something extremely modern. 
uh, as I tell everybody, if you are buying these used ThinkPads, be aware you may need to get a new battery, but they run like 40, 50 bucks, somewhere around there. Um, sometimes more, depending on what kind of battery you want, sometimes less, so on and so forth. Uh, but they are fantastic, incredible machines. Highly recommended if you if you don't want to do the mod or if you are comfortable with doing this mod because you're getting an incredible machine at a and virtually no cost <laughs> in my opinion and I'm broke. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please refrain freeing from negative comments because some people may find it valuable even if I'm rambling and terrible at video editing. Not all of us are MKBHD. Alright, see you around. Bye.